All right, well, as you can see, it is no longer sunny and warm. Got some things to do to Big Red today. Going to put a new transmission dipstick in. Got a block heater. Got the oil cooler lines to hook up. So many projects, so little time. Let's get started. Had to run down to the hardware store and get some new hardware. Yeah, I got holes drilled where I'm going to mount it. It's going to mount underneath here. And these hoses are just going to come around and connect in. I'll redo the transmission lines coming across to the radiator. I'm going to put a piece of rubber down through here on the support to the new radiator. So let's get this oil puller wrapped up here. All right, I got to mix the hardware. I'm going to use these nylocks on here. Some big washers for the bottom and some smaller washers for the top. Get the holes drilled out, ready to go. So let's get it mounted and see what it looks like. All right, I got the adapters mounted. Went and threw some thread tape on it. I don't know if I actually need it. But I'm going to get this mounted and then get the hoses lined up. I finally remember to be a lot easier to work on if I just took the bumper off. So, get it off. It's gonna mount right like that. Now it's still gonna come up about an inch or so. And get these lines hooked up to it. Well, it's mounted in place. It seems pretty firm here. So now I gotta run these lines one to here, one to here. Get them cut and fit. It should be ready to go. So I got these running down and then up in the frame rail. Through here, through there. And then we'll meet back out at the front here. So through that mount, still inside the frame. Down through here, I'm gonna put a piece of rubber hosing split over that. And then that will go to there my hope is by running it that way that it'll stay nice and safe and i don't have to worry about it getting caught in anything or yeah i guess we'll see still wonder if i shouldn't have gone with the stainless but i think this will be fine i hope what i like about these hose clamps is that you can twist them to get your hose where you want it I'll put another one up in here. That'll keep the keep the bend I'm after in it here. On through the frame. Down to here and up to there. Got everything tightened up. Now I just need to make the cuts on the other end to the actual cooler. Everything's lined up, looking pretty good back through there. So this line I'm gonna wrap behind and take it to here. And this other one will go right to there. So I'm going to get these taped and cut and drawn out. We'll see if my little oscillator saw will cut through this or not. Cut through it like butter. Got her snug down all the way. Shoot a little WD-40 in it and get her tightened up. All right, well, I got this thing installed. Let's take a look at it here. So... Here's what I went with. Put another one here just to get some clearance behind that one as it goes to there. Everything's tight, feels okay. This next thing to do is fire it up, see if we got any leaks. But before I do that, I'm gonna put a new radiator in it. So we'll probably do one final video after everything's buttoned back up of it. Uh, actually running and hopefully not leaking everywhere with the new heater plug or uh, whatever the, whatever it is block heater and new oil cooler so thanks for watching kind of a video more for uh, my kids when they're older more than it is anybody else just so they can see what we've done to the truck where are you going?
You working on a truck down there? Huh? All right, everything's hooked up. I'm gonna fire it up, make sure there's no leaks, and I think we'll be good to go. I'm happy to have that done. Part of why I had to do it is you can't buy the half of the oil line that goes up to the radiator for the older model diesels. So it's a completely different fitting. So I've got a new radiator and went ahead and just ran an external oil cooler to solve all that. So that's part of why. Plus I don't have to worry about old lines blowing or anything like that. So starting to get cold out here so i'm gonna call tonight thanks for watching